Hello guys, welcome to Octocoder. Fellow developers and food enthusiasts, today we are embarking on an exciting journey into the world of backend development. Brace yourself for a remarkable adventure as we dive deep into building a robust real world application using Node.js, ExpressJS, and MongoDB. Our mission creating something truly amazing the backend for the Find My Restaurant applications. But before we delve into coding, every great project begins with meticulous planning and well-structured documentation. And we have the Find My Restaurant documentation right here. In this comprehensive document, we have all the details we need to create this application. It outlines the vision, functionalities, and essential features that will make Find My Restaurant a delightful and user-friendly platform for restaurant exploration. Let's take a moment to understand what we are going to build. The core of Find My Restaurant revolves around 8 to 9 main functionalities, which will translate into RESTful APIs. Here's a sneak peek at what Find My Restaurant will offer. First, add details of new restaurant, then list down all restaurants present in the database, then find different categories of restaurant. For example, dine-in or take-out. Filter by category whether they are for dine-in or take-out. Search for specific restaurant. Find restaurant based on their ratings. That is we always do in real life. We look for best restaurant by checking highest ratings right. Then update restaurant details. And lastly, delete restaurant. So these are main functionalities we need to build. Moreover, we have provided a restaurant schema that outlines the required field such as name, description, category, image URL, location, phone, and rating. We have even incorporated HTTP status code to keep you informed. HTTP 200 for success and HTTP 500 for internal errors. Now let's take a peek at the RESTful API endpoints that we'll be constructing. Our journey begins with the creation of POST API to add a restaurant. When making this request, the request body should be structured as illustrative and the response body will mirror the example shown in the screenshot. If any internal error occurs, fear not, we'll be armed with an HTTP 500 bad request status code. The adventure continues with the GET API to fetch all restaurants and response body will fetch all restaurants. Then GET by categories, then GET by rating value, then put API to update restaurant details and lastly delete restaurant. Our documentation also includes all the essential details about each RESTful API endpoint, what request body we need to send and what response body we will receive. It's all carefully outlined here, making our development process smooth and efficient. So fellow coders and culinary enthusiasts, we are about to embark on an exciting coding journey with Node.js, ExpressJS, and MongoDB at our disposal. We'll transform the Find My Restaurant vision into reality that users will delight in exploring. Let's dive in and turn this vision into finely crafted reality. Before we begin, don't forget to grab your favorite snack a trusty company for our coding escapades. Now let's embark on this extraordinary journey of crafting a robust real-world application using Node.js, ExpressJS, and MongoDB. Our keyboard are our compasses, our screen are our canvas, and together we'll breathe life into every line of code. Are you ready? Let's bring our ideas to life one code snippet at a time. Now let's start coding. First we need to download Node.js. Node.js is an open source cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment. We are gonna use that to create server-side JavaScript applications. If you never use Node.js, don't worry. This video is for everyone who's starting with Node.js and Express and has never built their own API before. So now download this LTS version or you can download current version but I recommended you to download LTS version and install it. I have already installed OK. Secondly, we'll be using ExpressJS. Express is 
as you can see fast unopinionated minimalist web framework for node.js so it is a web framework for node.js express is going to help us create different routes for our api and for data storage we have got mongodb it's a robust and flexible no sql database and we are going to use it to store our app data hope you have installed it if not then please install mongodb compass or you can use mongodb atlas okay and finally we'll be using postman postman is going to help us make different requests to our api so that we can test all of our endpoints so let's move to visual studio code right now i am inside visual studio code in an empty folder it's called find my restaurant you can create your own empty folder and just open in visual studio code okay so first we need to initialize our backend javascript application so let's open terminal and you can run npm init command in terminal give application name find my restaurant remember all small letters okay version enter description write build restful apis for find my restaurant then enter 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 just enter author octacoder it will create package.json file and inside this file what we just write those details are given like we have our application name we have version description and so on so let's create a new file app.js which is going to be the starting point of our server inside of here we'll be using express so let's install it right away npm i express so it's gonna install now let's install all dependencies that we are gonna need in this application so npm i mongoose for database then install body parser for incoming post request bodies that we will see soon okay for now just install all of these dependencies let's check all dependencies are installed or not just open package.json file and here in dependencies as you can see body parser express and mongoose is installed and this version in future will be changed right now august 2023 going on so for now we using latest version okay now let's close this file now let's import express in our app.js file const express required express you can write it like this or you can write like import express from express as you want okay now we need to initialize our express application by doing const app equal to express and we call that express as a function now our whole application relies on this variable now let's write code for to start our server so const port equal to 8080 and make our application listen for incoming request by saying app dot listen method and in here you specified port variable as first argument and callback function and we're gonna simply log app is listening on port 8080 so let's test it open terminal and run our app file by typing node app.js command in terminal and there you go our application is listening on port 8080 congratulations you just learned to start the server and listening on port 8080 here you can give port value between 0 to 65535 greater than that we can't give okay 8080 is a standard port number okay or you can use whatever the value you want like 5000 or 3000 or just 80 you can use just remember value should not be greater than 65535 okay let's see give port number 5000 save it and run the command again here we don't need to type command again just press up arrow key and you will get previous command here and hit the enter and see app is listening on port 5000 if you give value more than 65535 let's give 65536 save it and run again so it will get an error 
as you see we got the error so now let's give value 65535 save it and run again and see our application is listening on port 65535 okay so you can give any number here between 0 to 65535 okay let's give standard port number 8080 now let's open browser and type in url localhost colon 8080 and here we see cannot get and forward slash that's because we didn't define routes so let's define root route to handle request here app.get slash is the home page ok and callback function it accept two parameters request and response and here let's send find my restaurant home page save it and run server again and go back to our browser and refresh and we do get find my restaurant home page that's great but here in this app.js file it's all mixed up we don't want our port 8080 and our database connection or any other secret signature API key in this file. So for that we have to create environment variable. So let's install .env file npm.env. Now let's create a .env file here in our project directory. And here we are going to write our all important secrets like port and database connection path okay so write port equal to 8080 in .env file and save it now let's go back to our app.js file here let's import .env packages to load environment variable from .env file and .config function is a method provided by the .env package it reads the contents of the .env file now you can access the environment variable using process.env so in our port here, we don't need this 8080 number now. We can write process.env.port. This port variable name coming from .env file. Okay, and save it all. And let's run our application. And there you go. App is listening on port 8080. Now let's do MongoDB database connections. Okay. We're going to connect on MongoDB Compass. For that, we need Mongoose library. And we already installed Mongoose. Remember, let's check our package.json file to confirm. And here we have Mongoose installed. Okay. So let's require Mongoose in app.js file. Then we need to provide the database path in our .env file. Okay. So here let's write db underscore url variable equal to and here we need to give the path of our database. So let's open mongodb compass and as you can see here this url mongodb slash slash localhost colon 27017 copy this url ok and paste it here and slash give database name. So we will give restaurant db okay however i'm not sure using localhost will connect because it might face firewall or dns resolution issues if that happens we will solve it okay so let's go back to our app.js file and here const db url equal to process.env.db url then mongoose have connect method mongoose.connect method will establishes a connection to the mongodb database and give db url as first argument now let's create a mongoose connection object and store in con variable okay now con dot was open event on the mongoose connection and simply log successfully connected to database if it occurs error then con dot on error event and simply log fail to connect to database let's run application again and app is listening on port 8080 and let's wait for database connection and we encounter issues connecting it failed to connect to database why as i said before because our machine firewall or dns resolution is stopping is stopping to connect so instead of this localhost write loopback address as 
127.0.0.1 basically localhost is bind to this loopback address ok and save it and run again and app is listening and here we successfully connected to database if this still didn't work for you then you can use 0.0.0.0 4 times 0 this is a public default address but don't use this always use localhost ok save it and run again and we got connected to database and there you have it a fantastic start to our journey into building a robust real world application using node.js express.js and mongodb I can hardly contain my enthusiasm for the next lecture where we'll delve even deeper into the world of RESTful APIs and how they integrated seamlessly into our project. Remember, knowledge is power and the more we learn together, the more powerful our coding skills become. If you found this video informative and inspiring, I would be thrilled if you could show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to Octocoder channel. Your support fuels our passion for teaching and sharing knowledge. So until our next exciting session, keep coding, keep exploring and most importantly, keep that coding spirit alive. Happy coding everyone.